So this is the labeling for the small intestine sign, both the 40 and the 400. So I'm assuming you're going in alphabetical order and you've heard some of these bef names before. This hole right here, so this is basically a tube. Let us draw this real quickly for you. So there's a tube. Then the tube has several layers, so this would be the first layer. This would be the second layer, and they're actually touching. Then you have a third layer. Oh, it's supposed to be red. And then you have a fourth layer on the outside, like so. So that's basically what we're looking at. And the inside of this tube is called the lumen. So label this L-U-M-E. In. Now here, these look like little fingers, and they are called villi. So these are all villi, and hopefully the font you're using will distinguish between the I's and the L's. Now these villi, I probably should have stuck with the green labeling that. This layer right here, let's make that a little bit bigger for you. Oops, that's going to be tubing. This layer right here, so basically from here, why is this so opaque? It's from here to here is called the mucosal layer. So from here to here, that is all mucosa. So from here to here, that is all mucosa. And then all this fun stuff, all those pretty blood vessels in there, that is called the submucosa. So all of this in here is the submucosa. So all of this is the submucosa. Then we have the muscularis. And the muscularis actually has two parts to it. It has right here, I can see there's a change in how the cells are. So this one, the cells are actually like this. They're circles, and they're coming out towards you. So they'd be coming out towards you or going into the screen. So this is the circular muscularis. None of these show it clearly either, but this is the circular muscularis here. This is the circular muscularis. Again, it's not really showing it very clearly. This one sort of does, so they're like that, and they're coming out towards you. Then this other part is the longitudinal muscularis right here. So this is longitudinal, this is longitudinal. I have to move this over a little bit. That's longitudinal. And these are running north, south, up and down your intestines. So go back over to Photoshop. See if I can change it to red. Pink. I was close. Oops. So pink. Their cells are going like this. So this is the longitudinal muscularis. This is why you're doing it and not me. So longitudinal muscularis is down here. And lastly, this is called the serosal layer. And that's why I didn't put longitudinal muscularis there. Now I've said this on other videos, but I'll repeat it. I like putting the layers like this so you could see, Jesus, this is all the mucosa in here. This is the submucosa. Here's the circular muscularis. Here's the longitudinal. Here's the serosa. This actually is a nice view of the serosa. It's actually distinct. So this is that other slide you did called the ilium. So it doesn't have the serosa layer on it. But that's what you're doing on that one. And I just realized, I think this is actually that large intestine slide that you are going to do that somehow kicked out the proper slide. Very interesting. So this is what you are drawing on the low power one. This is actually a nice one. So this, the serosa layers here, they didn't really label it. Then on the high power one, you're looking at this. 
you are looking at the villi here, and they have these cute little cells called goblet cells. So see goblet cells, isn't that pretty? Yes, that one is identical to that one. I discovered the clone tool. So these are the goblet cells. And then I believe there's microvilli on that slide. So this would be microvilli. So here is the 400 time. Nope, no microvilli. So here are the villi. It's the submucosal layer. And these are the pretty goblet cells. So that's what you would be labeling on these. So thank you.